So, so far, we've just got five uh, doors in the advent calendar, um, rather than 25. And instead of having to type out 25 of them individually, it would be good to start using some JavaScript um, to do this automatically. So the point of JavaScript is to try and um, either do things more efficiently, that means save the amount of code that you have to write, or to try and make things interactive, so to tell stuff um, to behave in a certain way. So we're going to start with a little loop, and then we're going to invent a variable called i, um, and i is just going to keep track of a number between 1 and 25, as in the day of the, uh, the month in December. So we're going to say for i starts at 1, the 1st of December, semicolon, i is always less than 25, um, and i gets bigger by one each time. The plus plus means increment, which means get bigger um, by one each time. So everything between that curly starting at one, um, it will finish at 24, because 24 is the largest integer, the largest whole number less than 25, and it gets bigger each time. Okay? Then we're going to use jQuery, because um, we've got jQuery ticked on here, the latest version of it, to add in an extra div tag, one of these, inside the calendar div. So we use jQuery, the magic um, dollar sign thing. Um, first of all, to find this calendar uh, div tag. So we know it's got a class of calendar, so we can find it. Put quotation marks in there. Um, we can find a class with a full stop. And we say, let's search for calendar. So that will now find this div tag. And we want to put in inside it, so append just means add something um, to the end of what's inside it. And we're going to put in one of these. So I'm going to copy that and put that in there. I need to put this inside quotation marks so it knows that that's all text in here. Um, and I'm going to get rid of all of these doors here. So what's going to happen is you'll probably see an empty calendar. But as soon as the page loads, it will run this JavaScript code. It will find the calendar and add in one of these things, but it will do it 25 times. So if we click Run Now, there will be 25 of them, or 24 of them, um, but they will all have the same number in. So we're getting somewhere. Um, all we need to do now is change that number. Um, so instead of just saying 1 each time, we want it to say I. Um, but if I press Run Now, it will just say I instead of 1. To actually get the contents of that variable I, I need to get outside of the string, um, append on with a, uh, add on with a plus, uh, the value of I, and then this bit as text afterwards. So let's press Run. We should now get all of the numbers running up to 24.